Hi, welcome to this video. I'm going to install Arconix B Xmonad, a tiling window manager with a bias. So we get this nice graphical thing. You can choose the lines. And if you have hardware problems, you can actually edit these lines with a tap, type things behind it and do an enter. And can do escape and move up. So the first line of most often uh, just works for everybody, but hardware is so different out there. So we're booting up with uh, bias. If you have UFI, if you chose that one, you get these lines, five lines of them. You end up in line number three. You need to go to line number one and boot from our USB. We're making these videos because we're booting now not in XFC anymore. We're booting up into our tiling window manager and it's not that easy to figure out, hey, um, what if I got lost in here? What if I delete this? Well, actually reboot would be simple, right? You get it back. But um, we want you to try already to navigate into this particular um, tiling window manager. Now, Ctrl Alt T is gonna provide you with some information. Again, well, package manager always packages, right? That's harsh for you. You can already see this is Xmonad and how many packages there are and so on. You can move this thing around with super pressed in and then click the left button of your mouse and you move it around. That's one thing. Getting rid of this is with a super A or a Q, depending, eh? a Zerti, Querti, but it's uh, mentioned in here that we have these buttons, super shift Q, but super Q is working as well. Super X is shutting everything down, restarting, logging out, stuff like that. And check out all the others because you need to know all the others later on. But for now, it's enough to know that we can navigate here, move it around. Uh, if by accident you deleted this little thing, super A, oh, accident, super, uh, sorry, super shift D, and you have the D menu, and you need to know the name, which is Arco Linux. And then with arrow keys, I can navigate to Arco Linux Welcome app. There it is, it's back. And even if you um, want to launch Calamares yourself, remember you have to do it with PK Execute Calamares. Then you have to think, I have to think anyway, because my letters are not correct. Azerti Querti. So that's another possibility as well to launch Calamares. Super A, right? Super Shift D, yeah. <laughs> Arco Linux, again, typo. The welcome app, let's start with what we normally see. Our advice is to clean everything up. I don't know what you have on your system and it's up to you to decide whether you want to keep things or not, right? But previous to this one, I installed i3. And I installed it with a FAT32 boot ESP, so meaning it's a UFI partitioning system up here. Now I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna say, no, I'll try something out. I'm gonna do something else. Now this guy, just leave him there, leave him be. It's cool because you just click here. You say this guy, remove. That guy, remove. That guy, this is a swap even. And then, oops, remove. And everything is clean. This is like it would come out of the shop. Of course, we need to make sure that it's applied. Why am I I'm moving this guy? Because it was behind there, right? Um, super and then left. And you can drag and drop whether uh, the things are around, right? Apply and then boop, everything is erased and we start afresh. You can stop this guy here or super A in my case or super Q maybe in your case and we're back to where we were. So we have a clean SSD or hard disk, run Calamars. Then that application comes up, this is in the, in the way. So moving it around as possible, but it will be always in the way. So we don't need it anymore. Super A or Q and it's gone. This is version 3.2.20, and there is something you should know about that version. First of all, we love Calamares. Second of all, it's free. And this particular one has a, a message from time to time that says unmount installation failed. Basically, it means installation was successful. Reboot, all right? So remember that if you see the message, just reboot. 
Explaining all this takes half an hour, so I ask you to watch the video of Arcanlex or Arcanlex D, where we go into more detail of all these things. But it's more, it's straightforward, I think. But we have four kernels to to test out. Maybe I should do one. I haven't done that yet in any of the videos. So let's install a Zen kernel and see later on. It's uh, in action. So communication, choose any of these guys. It's um, important to stay in touch with people these days. Development, wanna develop, here are the applications. Some of, the, some of these guys will conflict. And since Calamari is, is not giving us any uh, messages like Pac-Man does, this is conflicting with that one. Yes, no, keep, right? So these messages you get in Pac-Man, in Terminal, they'll just uh, skip it and one of them will be installed. So choose whether you want to have the last version or the stable version. That's a choice. Don't select two of them, just one of them. Not gonna waste my band with on it. Multimedia, all right. Internet stuff, take a look, lots of stuff. Locale means put it in German, you get a Firefox in German if Calamaris is in German themes lots of themes this guy will conflict with that guy so we just got rid of it because users always said it conflicts and it doesn't work well it's an Arch Linux thing we can't do anything about it it's a package thing this one and that one provide the same thing so now we have a new cursor right Bibata Ice no conflicts anymore games choose your game these four lines the last lines are huge two gigabytes in download Anything you select here will make the installation longer. Obviously, it needs to download from your computer. So you need to have an internet connection. Otherwise, it'll just skip. So everything will install without the software. Take a look at all the possibilities in here. Just clicking a few, open randomly. You select what you like. And this is for us. When we install our ISOs and we just want to have the stuff available to work with. And that's what we need to work with. Next, I'm living in Brussels. So it seems, in time zone anyway. I choose my Belgian keyboard. You can actually replace partitions if you want to, but no. We're gonna erase, no swap, swap, no hibernate. And manual partition if you want to. Don't forget you can encrypt as well. So meaning these three times two, because you can encrypt, you have six ways, manual partition, seventh way, and you can follow tutorials on ArcanLinux.com. Uh, Arcanlinux, uh, there is a Calamaris installer. I'm not gonna do a manual partition. I'm just following along what Calamaris suggests. Manual things are explained on ArcanLinux.com on the Calamaris article. Choose a password, log in automatically, use the same password. It's all up to you to decide if you do it otherwise. And then we just wait for the installation. So again, if you select everything, well, in here among uh, when you're hitting 80%, you'll see it's just dying. Well, it's not, it's just downloading, 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 downloading and installing everything on your PC. So the more you select, the longer it will take. If you have a slow internet, it's gonna take a long time. So go and have a dinner or something, walk away. Don't get frustrated that it stays on 80%, 80% and 30 minutes later, still 80%. The slider is a little bit off, but it is working, right? So just let it do its thing. Pausing for now. All right, we've uh, passed our hurdle of 80% and he's finishing off with the last modules of Calamaris. A bootloader might be interesting indeed. I'm reading in the left corner. And this is your example of the error. So it means everything is fine. So you close this thing off and you need to reboot. Everything is installed. Super plus X says here exit. Super X, aha. All choices, okay, we need to restart, right? Because we wanna see, is it now installed? Yes or no, is Xmonad working? Moving to the boot existing OS thing, 
booting up from Grub. Oh, there it is, Linux N. Totally forgot about it. Well, yeah, we decided to install another Linux kernel. Ready to press Ctrl T, but let's get rid of this first. Next time you won't. Uh, don't want to see this, but do check out the articles. It uh, gives you lots of information. Super Q is killing this thing. Super C is killing my conky. Ctrl T is giving me a terminal. And then we can see up here that it's number 5.5.13 Zen 2 1 Zen kernel that's working on this virtual machine. And then it's learning how to work with this. Ctrl Alt F. Firefox, navigate to arcolinux.d.com. This is Xmonad, it's not part of the flagship. This is phase two, this is the flagship desktops. So it's gonna be in phase three, Xmonad. And there you go, installation, that's this one. Well, not this one, that's Arcolinux D, right? But everything about Xmonad is here. Everything you need to know is here and if there are things missing just ask and a video is on its way so lots of xmonad stuff so what i would do is go from one well one is just the installation but maybe it's interesting interesting anyway two three four five and just go up and learn all right have fun exploring xmonad